shit. Bro. Probably should be. Alright. This is Super 3D Noah's Ark, a game that is ironically more well put together than the Steam version of Wolfenstein 3D. For those who don't know, this was a Christian propaganda game created by Wisdom Tree in 1995 using the Wolfenstein engine, which they paid id Software to use. id Software has allegedly given a discount to Wisdom Tree for the source code, although Wisdom Tree, which has recently been resurrected by whoever has the rights to it now, I don't know, uh, has said that, that story's not true. Well... Oh shit. Of course the last boss is a bear. As anyone who knows me knows, bears are bad news. Let's go with... normal. You'll be out of the Ark in six days, Noah. Unfortunately, the animals are a bit restless and want to get out now. Good thing you brought all that food with them. We need it to put the busy ones to sleep. Could you praise that a little better? At the end of the day, prepare to deal with Carl the Camel. He's been really cranky lately and he's been out of control. Good luck and be careful. Options, control. Okay. Yep, figured that was the Camel is asleep. The goat is asleep. There we go. Night, night, Azrael. No, sorry. Some of you probably haven't finished Undertale yet. Night, night, Toriel. There. Less spoilers. No, no, don't use the food. Wait. Seriously, it says button A. Oh! Okay. Found it. But yeah, amazingly, this is, uh, much better. I wonder if I can get mods for Wolfenstein 3D to make it play as well as this does, because this place is pretty deep food. Yeah, I can feel the Jesus. Not a bad game, really. But yeah, you're not hurting, you're not killing the animals, you're just feeding them. Oh, they're spitting at me. That, that's the, uh, that's the gunfire. Yep, eat your drugged uh, butterscotch cinnamon um, thing. Oh yeah, fruit instead of gold. Huh. Yep, we don't kill Nazis here. I mean, what's a Nazi? Nope. We don't even know what that is. We are good Christian uh, transgender women here. Something seems wrong with what I just said. You guys look at Jesus' death army! Something goes off about what I just said. Uh, 40 days. Yes! That's right, because it's a wisdom tree game, which means there's gonna be Bible verses. Yes, I'm back. Yeah, probably a good idea to switch the man up.
love this cheerful music. Bum, bum. <laughs> But I do believe that many of the biblical events did happen to some capacity. Whether or not I believe it actually flooded, that the earth actually flooded and that God's promise to man in the rain, the rainbow is legit. Um, well, considering that I've legitimately met the demoness Lilith, the first wife of Adam, anything's possible. I mean, I've met Lilith, she's a real person. She's also kind of a bitch. So, yeah, I'd, I'd say anything's possible. I mean, she's one of them bitches who's like, they're all, oh, fuck, you make me so horny, and then, well, they're pressing your back. Shit. And when you're pressing your back, and then they're like, ooh, do you like that? And looking for a place to stick her PENIS! And by penis, I mean knife. Probably do an angry video game nerd impression, being like, "This game sucks, diarrhea, dick, buffalo farts." But well, I'm actually glad we're bringing edutainment games back as a genre because they're as fun as this one. And look, to be honest. I like Wolfenstein 3D a lot more than I like Doom. Uh, I'm gonna go with 500. Shit. I think that drained my health a little. Wow, that was 500. People live that long back then. I didn't know that! It, yeah. You know why I, I had to fight really hard not to get that? I won't even say it, never mind. But yeah, I really hope that some other of uh, Wisdom Tree's biblical games, or if they could make new biblical games, it would be cool. Because apparently Wisdom Tree still exists. And hopefully they made enough money off of this to, I don't know, give me... Oh, oh you know what would be really sweet? What if Spiritual Warfare came to Steam? Did, it, did any of you play Spiritual Warfare? I actually liked that game. It was pretty fun. You, you were this uh, good Christian boy using sacred fruits in the time of the apocalypse, when demons had taken over everyone, and you would use the fruits to uh, banish the demons, and it played a lot like Legend of Zelda. It wasn't bad. And if you if you sinned, I've got no idea what the way that, and if you sinned, they would take away your weapons, and you'd have to go to church to redeem yourself. Like, I, I thought it was actually pretty good, as far as Christian games go. Par is 30 seconds?! Par is 30 seconds. Yeah, I don't even mind getting other Bible games. This isn't even the first Bible game I bought on Steam. That would be Binding of Isaac. The second Bible game I bought on Steam was Dark Siders. The third was Dark Siders 2, Death Initiative Edition. Did you play Dark Siders? It was real 
still popular when it came out, but it's kind of fallen in popularity since then. One life left. It's funny, I thought only Jesus came back and he's dead. Even then, it took three days. Maybe Jesus was playing on a death match and the lab was just that bad. Come on. Get the fruit! It would be nice if I could actually see the fruit. The way I, I aim my shots better. I'm gonna understand the reason why I can't see the fruit is because in the original game it was done. Shooting bullets, you can't really see bullets flying through the snow now. Yeah, the game's not easy. The thing is, you have no idea how much range your thing has. So I don't think you have the same amount of range you do in Wolfenstein 3D. Oh, and we play the new Wolfenstein. But yeah, I would love to. Anyway, I'd love to see more Bible games come to Steam because uh, well, I hate to call it this because it's a major religion, but the Christian mythology is a rather interesting one with not only good morals about how to live your life, uh, being more charitable, uh, being humble before God, uh, which is which is pretty good when you really think about it. Being humble before God, it doesn't mean that you chase your gay neighbors out, it just means that. You accept that you're a flawed being, and you gotta just put things in the hands of the one who created the universe sometimes, because there are times when you're gonna be lost. We all get lost, of all people of all religions. Uh, Jews, Muslims, Christians. By the way, uh, I don't know if anyone's really watching this, but if you are, part of the reason I'm doing Noah's Ark 3D is uh, quite simply because. Goats! Goats! Because a friend of mine is battling with cancer right now. His name is Charles Mathias, and he's one of my best friends. He also is the mother of. I'm not the mother, he's a father, sorry. Sorry. Uh, he's the father of a three year old. He's married, and his. What the hell is this? What the hell am I holding? Sorry, that took me off. That took me by surprise. He's the father of a three-year-old little girl named Angie, and he's the wife of a woman who really needs him. He's also the author of a lot of more keep stories and transformational stories on the internet. And overall, he's a very good guy. So, Charles, if you're watching this, uh, this one's dedicated to you, buddy. Uh... Yeah, I would be cool with more Christian-themed games coming to, uh, to Steam. Well, is there a map I can check? Yes, there is. Oh. Okay, yeah, apparently I'm heading in the right direction. This is the exit. It's right here. It's right. That's the starting point! I... But yeah, there have been a lot of good Christian games, like uh, Noah's Ark, So, sorry, I am getting more distracted. Uh, Noah's Ark on the, on the NES. Super 3 Noah's Ark, like, like now, Dark Side of of Isaac, it's just... What would be nice? Yeah, Wisdom Tree, if any of you 
guys are. every animal onto the ark, but uh, I'll see the goats. Evolution not kick in yet, so everything was a goat. Scientists have- Ah, oh, move it wrong and all lives evolved from Eve? Okay, okay, so I don't know who Ruth is, but apparently Eve did better in this game than Adam, so, uh... I guess... Girl Gamers have been around since literally the beginning of time. I should save more often. Gamergate's gonna be pissed at this because according to yeah, because according to this, yeah, Eve is one of the first girl gamers. So she was more than just the first woman. She was a much more kick-ass gamer than Adam. I mean that's that's cool. I didn't know that. That's that's amazing. Oh, no. So yeah, maybe scientists said it wrong and Man evolved from goats. Not apes. Because all I've seen on this arc are goats. I think the closer you are to the more damage you do. Sorry, the more... okay. How many cubits long was the arc? 300 cubits? Yes! I also have mercy because my weaponry isn't lethal. How many more Bible puns can I tell? I don't know, but um. Who won the human race? Adam. He came first. How about I bake you a cinnamon butterscotch pie? Can't be too 
part in this game because it is as God made it. Yes! I knew it was not a Bible pun. Um, I wouldn't really say it's the whole rail of uh, first person shooter games. I'm so sorry. Forgive me for not having any editing software. Yeah, okay, this is apparently the right way to go. Alright. Alright, this is new territory I've explored yet. Now take that! Eat food! I swear that sounds like the Torador March for a few notes. You know, like it, da, da, da. yeah, they yeah, it sounds like it, and then it plays it. Oh, damn it! Forgive me, Father, for. I can't get uh, MLG no scopes. My bird cross is just too uh, heavy. It's off my head. 69. No. Ah, no! Creepy eyes there, Noah. No, no, die! I mean, live! I mean, unconscious! Everywhere, and not a bit to bite. Oh, if I collect all that fruit, I get an extra life. Psychic powers. Why do the ghosts drop food? I know it's because in the mobile game it's Nazis dropping bullets, but uh. You mean I'm feeding these goats and they're just carrying around food in their um, fur? It's deep in their fur. 
Yes, they're fur. And some of you are thinking that I meant in an orifice, but how dare you? How dare you? How dare you think that? Will I, I snuck in there? God, freaking ah! Enjoy a pleasant eternity in heaven, go. Legit RPG. I mean, a, a legit bro. A legit first-person shooter. I, mean, I don't really know what to say. It's, it's... Live! Live! Do that! Sleep for a temporary amount of time and enjoy the nap! Now, if I remember correctly, there was a keyhole... Got like a machine gun. Yeah, we're right over there. Shoot, cut. Vain is this guy. 
Oh, okay, so, no, 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 this is the way to go forward. Okay, so I want the other locked door to get that machine gun looking thing that I found, because that's probably going to be all the good. You got butts. Get fed. Let he who is without sin launch the first goat seed. Not goat seed. Goat seed, like the yeah that. Another... Am I going crazy? Oh. It's up here. I swear it's on the tour of March is about to start. Really? There was no... Kind of like a machine gun thing last time? Am I going crazy? Where did I find that at? Well, let's leave the level. Well, let's, uh, pray... I would actually let a little kid play this. I played myself. Fight around kids, they're playing this as their first first-person shooter. For baby Angie for Christmas. For, for my friend. You get a kick out of this. Write that over there. All the goats. And the part time this one's for like 20 seconds, and it's like, oh, the strength of Samson to play games that good. Even if I did, I've cut my hair many, many times. I missed one animal? No, no, I meant... Still a biblical name! Devor is a biblical name? Didn't know that. Ah. Uh, I gotta use the restroom. I'll probably come back to playing this in a bit.